Picamillin, a Russian anti-anxiety medication. Did it work? Did it not? Find out right now. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. Today I want to do a little review on Picamillin by Cosmic Nootropics or this random Russian name that they got it from. Picamillin has been a very highly requested supplement for me to review on this channel. I've done several reviews on Phenibits and f -Phenibits. I like those quite a bit and they're illegal to use as supplements in the US, but they are medications in Russia and in other places. I actually ordered this anti-anxiety style bundle from Cosmic Nootropics. It's called another name, but it basically means anti-anxiety and it comes with five medications from Russia that are aimed towards anti-anxiety. This supplement, picomillin, and some of the other ones are basically GABA fused with some sort of a B vitamin. So to me, that just sounds so much more natural than something like a Valium or like a Xanax. You're literally taking GABA and then mixing it with like a B vitamin or something healthy. And then when you look at the effects and the benefits, almost all of them have some sort of other benefit because they are fused with some sort of a vitamin. They actually seem really good for you versus something like Xanax or Valium. Like maybe they're good for certain people at certain times but I don't think there's any really nutritional value or other benefits that they have other than anti-anxiety so and I gotta say I've pretty much tried all the supplements in that variety pack that I got and picamillin is one of the strongest if not stronger than Phenibit. Now Phenibit does last a lot longer. That's what she said. Much 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 longer. This one is much more short acting but I'm just constantly shocked about how strong the effects are. Now I've taken it several times. It's worked for sleep quite a bit. There's been times where I take it and then something wakes me up in like an hour or two and I'm, I'm popped back up. I don't really think that's how it would be with Finibit because it lasts quite a bit longer, but I've also taken it and continued into a very nice long night of sleep as well. So it is a little bit more short acting. I think the half-life's like 60 to 90 minutes, whereas Finibit's like almost all day, but you can chain it into a very anti-anxiety evening or night, which I really appreciated. It's funny because most of the supplements they included in that mix say a lot of the same things. Apparently it's like kind of good for you in one way. Um, it's fused with the B vitamins, so you get some slight awakening properties like more blood flow and things like that. This particular compound is fused with niacin, and I'm not really sure which B vitamin it is, but I know it has a lot of the typical B vitamin effects. When you go online, a lot of times it'll be like, oh, it may improve focus, it may do all this, or you know, it may be good for sleeping or it may be good for anti-anxiety. This supplement personally is only for really, really bad anxiety, you know, or basically when I'm gonna go to sleep. I pretty much wouldn't want to take this in an anti-anxiety situation because for me it just makes me way too tired for me personally. There was a time a few days ago where I was very stimulated. I was getting to the end of my day. I went out to eat, decided to take two. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I didn't remember how strong they were and I was just absolutely struggling to stay awake. Every time I moved my body, my body just kind of wanted to like, you know, just collapse. Like, Ugh. and I was just so, so tired. I absolutely couldn't shake it. And for some reason, I didn't think this supplement was very strong. And the very next day I went out to eat again. I really didn't have too much stimulation. I kind of felt like taking one as well. So I decided to take one and I had pretty much the exact same effect. I go to do things and I'm just like, like, you know, just like falling down. You know what I mean? So it's great for sleep. It really just puts me right to sleep. I don't think I would enjoy doing anything besides going to sleep on this. And even for further confirmation yesterday, I accidentally had way, way, way too much caffeine. I had a 300 milligram energy drink and then I had a Rockstar Recovery, which is like 140. And then I had like a coffee later on. Stop it. Get some help. I didn't really think about it. I wasn't taking any other stimulants and I was just absolutely freaking out. And I decided to take this. I was a little bit worried because I think it was supposed to increase how much blood flow you get. I didn't want to overwhelm myself at all. And although I had way too much caffeine, I was planning on going to the spa and sweating it out. So I was just like really worried. So I ended up taking two of these and I'm like, oh, you know, I'm so freaked out. Like the only thing it'll do is help me maybe get to the gym. And it literally put me out all night. Like I got home at like 7.30 or eight, like took them and I was just completely out. Like I was almost went to go play a game or do something on my laptop. And I was just like, wow, I can't focus whatsoever. However, I was surprised how much caffeine I had and how jittery I was and how just quickly it just put me down. Like I probably could have just used one. So I really like this Picamillin. It's pretty much one of the strongest. I would say Finibit's maybe a little bit stronger than this just because it lasts a little bit longer. But besides Finibit, this is really, really, really strong right up there with it. Maybe even more drowsy than Finibit. I have to try it, you know, side by side. And a lot of the supplements they offer on Cosmic Nootropics are out of stock. A lot of the times they'll feature nootropics in some sort of a, like a bundle or something. And you could buy the bundle and get them, but they don't offer them all individually. 
This is one where they actually have in stock. It's one of the most purchased things from their site and they also have the anti-anxiety bundle. And I gotta say, I'm really, really impressed with this anti-anxiety bundle. It features phenobits. And the other three compounds that they put in there are really, really healthy and kind of vary as far as how drowsy you get. I would say picamillin is one of the more drowsy ones right up there with phenobit. The other ones are aimed a little bit more at daytime anti-anxiety and they kind of say that this is possibly for daytime anti-anxiety, but not for me, it was just, you know, very potent, kind of put me down. So anyways, guys, pick a melon. I really, really like this stuff. I like that it's really natural. It's just niacin fused with GABA, very simple. Apparently it, it allows it to cross the blood brain barrier easier. And once it's past that point, it splits into niacin and GABA by themselves. And GABA is an over-the-counter supplement you could buy anywhere. It just has poor bioavailability. So anyways, guys, let me know if you tried Picamillin. Let me know if you tried Phenobit. Let me know if you tried any of the other things in the anti-anxiety bundle from Cosmic Nootropics, which I highly recommend because pretty much all the supplements in that variety pack blew me away. So anyways, guys, I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.